hello friend and welcome here i'm so glad you joined me for today's video if you're new around here my name is laura and i share all kinds of motherhood lifestyle and homemaking videos i share new videos every wednesday so if that sounds like something you are into then just stick around i am working on a baking cupboard reorganization this is something that i've been wanting to do for a while and if you watched my recent video where we went to Ikea, you'll know that I recently got some canisters to tackle this project. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it so that you can watch it after this one. So this is the cupboard right here that we are working with. I will show you what we've got on our hands. So, this is it. It's a little bit chaotic. It's supposed to be a baking cupboard. So that's kind of how I have it set up originally but now it's also become like smoothie mixing bowls we've got flowers sugars i have like these random like containers of like food coloring got yeast baking powder or baking soda this is also baking soda i do really enjoy this turn uh what do you call this spinny thing i put smaller things on here so that's really handy definitely going to keep this but these canisters, a lot of them are not necessarily falling apart, but they're missing the seal part of it. So my plan actually for some of these canisters is to repurpose them in cleaning cupboards, even laundry under my kitchen sink. That way they're still being used, but they're just not working for this space. I also have some smaller containers that I want to decant into some like glass containers. And something that I have been thinking about a lot over the past year or so is making purchases that are intentional, that serve a need or a purpose that is very well thought out. I am someone who is very drawn to the visual aspect of things, but my temptation is to go buy things that I don't necessarily need only because they will look nice. So for example, if you go on Pinterest, you'll see all sorts of beautiful pantry reorganization, pantry and kitchen organization in jars and baskets and everything that look really, really, really pretty. And my temptation is to just go buy that stuff so that I can implement that in my home. But I've been trying to be more intentional about living in a space before making purchases like that. If you watch Natalie Bennett at all on YouTube, I will link her channel below if you haven't watched her videos. I just love what she has to share and something that she's really big on that I'm also trying to implement in our home is living in a space, seeing how it works, assessing the problem, seeing what would work, what the need is for that area before going and making a purchase or doing a project to make something a certain way. I hope that all makes sense. But for this cupboard, this has been something that has been in my mind for two years probably, but I've just been kind of making it work. I've collected different canisters and jars from thrift stores and just around our home. But with all the baking that I'm doing now, including baking our own bread at home most of the time, I know that it will be an investment in years to come to have the space organized. And I've spent time ensuring that it will serve our family for a long, long time. So all that to say, I want to encourage you that your home, the spaces in your home do not need to be Pinterest worthy. This definitely is not Pinterest worthy as are other cupboards and areas of our home. But I do want to take the time and spend some resources to make it more functional and also pretty as we do so. I'm glad you're here. I hope you will stick around for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started. I think our first course of action is just to take everything out of this cupboard, see what we're working with and go from there. of everything that was in that cupboard. This is a lot of stuff and some of these things I don't even use. For example, I have dates left over from when I was pregnant and trying to naturally induce labor. 
And I don't know what to do with these. So if you have any recipes that use dates, I know they can be used a lot as like replacement for sugar in baking. Let me know because I would love to use these up. Besides that, I have some marshmallows that we don't use. I bought those, I think, for hot chocolate. And honestly, I'll probably just toss them because marshmallows are kind of trash anyways. I have some organic cane sugar that is left in this jar. These jars, I have three of them that I thrifted. And I don't know if it was something to do with like what was stored in them previously, but I think this is icing sugar and it is completely hardened in these jars. So I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to figure out how to clean them. I think maybe there was like moisture from when I washed them that has just, I don't know. It's caused some issues with what is in those jars. So Definitely need to um, recant those. And then I have these ones that I've put sugar in. I would love to repurpose these in our laundry room, I believe. And then icing sugar. We've got chia seeds and also hemp hearts and flax seeds. So those will get their own bins. I use dark rye flour in my sourdough. I also use it in some cookie recipes. It adds a really nice almost like a nutty flavor in baked goods that are like sweet like cookies so i think i might just leave this one in this bag though because i don't go through it very quickly i have cinnamon sticks i also have some smaller jars like this that i can use so it's definitely helpful to see everything laid out i think my next course of action is to get all of the jars that i'll be using i have a lot of this size and also a bigger size and i already ran these in the dishwasher a few days ago. So they're all ready to go. All right, so for my large jars, I have two sizes. There are these ones that are kind of medium sized and then these extra large ones. I have four of these, which I'm going to put sugar, brown sugar, whole wheat flour and oats in these large ones. Since I've started making bread at home, I go through a lot of all-purpose flour. So I actually got this food safe bin to put my flour in that I will keep in a different cupboard, but I'm actually out of flour. So I will wait to add the flour into this one, but I will go ahead and label it. I have this labeler from Amazon that I ordered. I will link it down below if you are interested. I'm gonna use this to label all of the jars as I add the ingredients into them. So let's get started. <laughs> I don't have fingernails, so this is really hard to get off. There we go. Loves me, just look at me. I like a monkey in a coconut tree. You know I'm overjoyed, this boy, oh boy, she's my cat. Obviously, I need to get more brown sugar, but I'm really happy with how these turn out. The labels are really easy to read, and I really like the size of these jars for things that I have more of, like flour, and of course, I need to get more oats from our next grocery order as well, but we will definitely fill this, and we go through a lot of oats, so it's nice to have this big size. this size of jar I believe I have eight of these so we're going to put chia seeds in here cashews almonds different kinds of sugars that I have and then I have some smaller jars for some of the smaller items as well oh, 
She never plays it coy, my bottle of joy. She's the one I've been dreaming of. I'm overjoyed, cause boy, she's my gal. project is turning out. I have some smaller jars that actually my mother-in-law gave me because she didn't have a use for them. So I'm going to put some ingredients in here like cocoa, things that come in smaller packages and that I don't use as often. I love using things I already have so I'm thankful that I can put a use to these jars. I don't use instant coffee very often, but I do use it in some baking recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in my baking cupboard. In this moment forever, so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm made. If you do purchase this label maker, I really, really like it. It's very easy to use. And here's a tip for you. I just now realized that it actually prints this little tab that helps you to remove the backing. So I've been having the hardest time removing the back because I didn't realize that you can just fold this little tab over and it kind of breaks the seal. And then you can just peel it off. So simple and I wish I realized that at the beginning. <laughs> It's just about time to put everything back into this cupboard, but before I do so, I'm going to give the shelves a quick wipe down just to get any crumbs and grime off of those. And then we will arrange our jars and see how they fit in the cupboard. I will also mention that I did measure this cupboard before I purchased my canisters because I wanted to make sure that they would fit and then I knew how many to get. So that's a tip if you are doing some sort of project like this. I have definitely been known to not measure something and then it doesn't work and then I have to return it or whatever. It becomes a whole big thing. So that's just a little tip for you. I do really enjoy having this turnstile, so I think I'm just gonna leave this where it was. I also have yeast that I did not decant because I like these jars the way that they are, so I think I'll add that. And then I just need to figure out where I want to put these smaller jars. looking so much better already. I did take a few little things like food coloring and add it to this turnstile that were in that canister. And then a few things like my flaxseed and hemp hearts, I'm just gonna leave in these bags because they're, they work fine. I don't see a need to put them in separate jars. And I'm going to transfer these to kind of our breakfast snack cupboard. 
we'll just tuck those away up there. That cupboard could use a little bit, not reorganization, but just a little tidying up, but I'm gonna save that for another day. I also had this dark rye flour, but I don't use it as often, so I'm gonna keep it in the pantry along with like cake decorating tips and muffin cups. I don't use them that often, so they don't need to be super easily accessible. But I am already loving how this turned out. I think the black labels just look very minimal and simple. And it's really nice to be able to see what is in the jars because they're glass. I can see like, okay, brown sugar is low. I need to get more of that. It's a quick glance to kind of assess what I need to restock. And it just feels very clean and organized, fresh. And it makes me want to do some baking. Cause things are like you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end and if I did add my baking soda to a different jar in the baking cupboard, but I'm gonna leave some in this canister to keep under my sink because I also use baking soda to clean out the sink and my oven. I use it a lot for cleaning. So I wanna have kind of two separate locations. And then a lot of these jars I'm plan to use for cleaning items, putting like laundry pods in. I wanna put borax in one of these canisters as well as my dishwashing pods I wanna put in one. I'm gonna do that on a different day. This was enough for today. And I actually need to get started on dinner prep. We're having some company tonight, so I need to get started on that. But before I go, I do want to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, I hope you find some encouragement, inspiration, and motivation here on my channel. Until next time, I hope you are doing well, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.